Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna be doing some practice with membership and subsets. Now this is problem five, which can be found in your free discrete math online textbook. And I'll leave a link in the description so that you can check that out. Let's start with part A. Okay, so for the first problem, we're wondering if three is a member of A. So what is in A specifically? Well, three objects, zero, two, and three. So yes, three is in A. So A is true. What about B? So B is asking if the set containing the element three is in A. But in A, I see the element zero, two, and three. The objects in A are numbers, not sets. Let's do part C. Part C is asking if this set containing the object three is a subset of the set A. How would we know if the set containing three is a subset of A? Well, we have to ask, is every element in this set here, set containing three, also an element of set A? So what objects are in the set containing the object three? Well, the object three. So the question then is, is three in A? Yeah, three is in A. And so because of that, C is true. And notice how the answers to these two questions are different. Let's do part D. Is B a subset of A? Well, the only way we would know that is if every member in B is also a member in A. And that is the case. Two is in A and three is in A. And so every object in B is also an object in A. This is true. Well, what about A being a subset of B? Well, in this case, we have to check if every element in A is also an element of B. So is three in B? Yeah, three is in B. What about two? Is two in B? Yes, two is in B. So far, so good. What about zero? Z uh, zero's not in B. And so because of that, this is false. Not every element in A is also an element in B. And in order to be a subset, you need every element in A also in, uh, in B. So this is false. All right, is the empty set a subset of C? So this one's a little tricky because understanding how this statement is an implication makes this problem sound a little strange. So th this is asking, is it true that every element in the empty set is also an element in C? So if you're in the empty set, then you're in C. Is that a true statement? Now, the first thing that should pop under your mind is there are no elements in the empty set. The empty set is empty. That's the whole point of it being an empty set. So what do you mean if there are members in the empty set, then they're also in C? How can, what, what does this even mean? Well, it just means that the premise of that implication is false. Not the conclusion, the premise. And if the premise of an impl implication is false, then the whole thing is true. This is true. It's true by default, though. It's not really true because of anything inspirational. It's just true by default. Everything in the empty set is in C. You can also say everything in the empty set is also not in C. In many ways, that's true because there are no, there's nothing in the empty set. <laughs> so everything is pretty much true about the empty set. It's a very strange set, and it, it's something to wrap your mind around by yourself for a long time. It's the thing that the ZFC axioms bases all the axioms around. It's like this empty, you start with this empty set, and then boom, the von Neumann universes, and then all of first order logic, and so on and so forth. It's pretty cool, but this is a very interesting problem. Now, the next one is the empty set a member of A. Well, what are the members of A? The members are zero, two, and three. Did you see the empty set there? No, keep in mind, this is not an implication. This subsets 
have an underlying implication to them, a universal quantification as well. Membership, not so much. Membership does not involve quantification. At least not in the same way, I should say. So G is false. And last but not least is A a subset of A. This is true because this is always true. A is always a subset of A regardless of what set A is. All sets are subsets of themselves. Now, is it true that A is a strict subset of A? No, 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 no. That's why there is an a line underneath that subset symbol. This line right here is very important. That's like the less than or equal to symbol, but it's not that specific type of ordering. We're talking about subsets in this case. Anyways, that finishes this problem. Thanks everyone and I'll see you all in the next video.